Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain Maxwell's second equation with integral form and with differential form. Differential form is also known as point form. In this video, I will derive integral and differential form of Maxwell's second equation. First of all, one should know Maxwell's second equation is based on Gauss's law for magnetic field. Gauss's law for magnetic field states that for enclosed surface, total magnetic flux is zero. So as if you have enclosed surface, you can observe here we have enclosed surface. Then for enclosed surface, magnetic flux is zero. So here we have magnetic field B. So magnetic flux passing through enclosed surface, that is integration of BDS, that is zero as per Gauss's law of magnetic field. So as per Gauss's law of magnetic field, for enclosed surface, magnetic flux is zero. Magnetic flux is integration BDS, that is zero. Now question is how it is zero? See here we have enclosed surface. So with this enclosed surface over this side, magnetic field that is entering the surface means over this side, we have entering flux. And one should know entering flux is negative. And over this side of surface, magnetic field that is leaving the surface, leaving flux over here that is positive. Here, equal flux that is entering the surface and leaving the surface. So, positive and negative flux that is cancelling to each other means total flux passing through this enclosed surface is zero. That is Gauss's law of magnetic field. And this is also Maxwell's second equation with integral form. If I say this is equation 1, then equation 1 is equation of Maxwell's second equation with integral form. Now I will derive Maxwell's second equation with differential form. Here you can observe we have magnetic field with surface integration. To have differential form, here we can apply divergence theorem. See, divergence theorem can convert surface integration into volume integration. So, as per divergence theorem, if you have surface integration of function, then that is divergence of function with volume integration. Right. So, divergence theorem that gives relationship in between surface integration and volume integration. Here function is magnetic field. So surface integration of magnetic field is divergence of magnetic field with volume integration. And as per Gauss's law of magnetic field, this is zero. So one can say this is also zero. As if this is zero, then one can say divergence of magnetic field that is zero. And this is point form or one can say differential form of Maxwell's second equation. So now we have Maxwell's second equation with integral form that is surface integration of magnetic field for closed surface is zero and point form that is divergence of magnetic field is zero, right? Now what is the physical meaning of this equation? See one of the meaning of this equation that states that there is no existence of magnetic monopole. Let me explain how. Now I'll explain how exactly there is no existence of magnetic monopole. Let us consider there is north pole that is existing. Like if you have north pole over here, which is magnetic north pole, then what will happen? From north pole, magnetic field lines that is getting emerged, right? So here you will be observing magnetic field lines that is getting emerged from the north pole. Now as if magnetic field lines that is emerging from north pole and as if you consider enclosed surface, then for this given enclosed surface, there will be existence of magnetic flux. You can observe with this enclosed surface, magnetic flux that is leaving the surface, right? So for this enclosed surface, one can say surface integration of magnetic field 
that is not zero. Why it is not zero? The reason is here with this enclosed surface, magnetic flux is leaving the surface, right? So it is not zero. But as per Gauss's law of magnetic field, one can say, see, for enclosed surface, surface integration of magnetic field is zero, right? Means it is not possible to have single north pole. Practically, there will be combination of north and south pole with magnet. Like if you have north pole, then along with north pole, there will be always south pole, right? And if you want to understand magnetic field lines, then magnetic field lines that is getting emerged from north pole and it is getting enclosed to south pole, right? So you will be observing magnetic field lines that will be emerging from north pole and it is getting enclosed to the south pole. Now, as if you have enclosed surface over here, then for this enclosed surface, if you observe over this side, then over this side, flux is leaving, right? While over this side, flux is entering. Means total leaving flux and total entering flux both are equal. What it means? It means total flux passing through enclosed surface that is zero. So for enclosed surface, total magnetic flux that is zero that states that there is no existence of magnetic monopole. So that is the basic meaning of Maxwell's second equation and Maxwell's second equation that is based on Gauss's law of magnetic field. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you like to share, just note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.